In this video, we take you to La Isla Mujeres, which is the popular island right off of downtown Cancun, only 15 to 20 minute ferry ride. And it's a trip I've been wanting to take for some time. I've been to Cancun seven times and I finally was able to get to La Isla Mujeres. So I'm excited to tell you everything that we learned and some of the disappointments as well. And then we also give you a really good sneak peek at Isla Mujeres Palace Resort. I really wanted to take the excursion that the resort provided. We were staying at the Sun Palace in downtown Cancun, but unfortunately it was completely booked. So this is a good tip. If you know of an excursion that you want to take, many resorts let you book at least 30 days in advance. So make sure you do that. So we had to get there on our own. They did help us with some instructions and it actually was really easy. There was a bus stop right in front of our resort, so we decided to take the bus to the ferry terminal because one of the cool things about downtown Cancun is that for only $1, you can take the bus anywhere one way. And it's something I've been wanting to do for a while, so I said, let's get on the bus and show them that it really is a safe environment in downtown Cancun. A lot of people think that it's dangerous and it's not safe. And every time I've been there, which is four or five times, I've never had an issue. So we got on the bus, it took us about, I think it was like maybe 15, 20 minutes. And the stop was Playa Tortuga that got us to the ferry terminal. So when you get off the bus, just remember this is a popular tourist destination. So you might be met by people trying to sell you things, which is a common theme in Cancun. But all you have to do is go right over there to the yellow kiosk. You can't miss it and get your tickets there. It is $22 round trip per person. It is the only place where you can purchase your tickets that are valid. Then they will instruct you to go over to where the ferry terminal is. And I wanna first mention the bathrooms. So you have to pay to use the bathrooms and they look pretty sketchy. So make sure you use the bathroom ahead of time. They do have a bathroom um, on the ferry. And then one beautiful thing about staying at the Sun Palace is that we had access to the Palace Resort in Isla Mujeres, which is where we went, freshened up, used the bathroom, and had lunch, but more on that later. The Mexicans that we met said that this is a really popular local destination. So they take their kids here during the summer and on weekends. So just keep that in mind as well. But it really, really is beautiful. And you can just see the beautiful clear blue water. And at the terminal itself, there are some bars and you can do some shopping if you wanted to do that while you're waiting for the ferry, of course. We went to uh, the bar and got ourselves a margarita, a pure, real, authentic margarita. I think it was like maybe eight or $10. Uh, they made it with Don Julio and it was really good. Okay, so now it's time to go wait in line for the ferry. And the ferry runs about every 30 minutes. So you're not ever waiting too, too long unless you had just missed it. Um, but right away, I have to say, I was impressed by that color of the water. It's just gorgeous, the view. And they say that's one of the main attractions of these La Mujeres, and it does even get better. So far, it's been a really easy process from getting on the bus to finding the kiosk to buying the tickets and now waiting for the ferry. One tourist trap note, they do take photographs while you're waiting in line. So just know that because as you're getting on the ferry, then they are going to try to sell you those photographs. I think they're like 12 or $15. So just take note of that while you're waiting for the ferry.
So even though it was super hot, I still opted to sit on the top level so I could see the water, see the views as we were getting into Isla Mujeres and they are spectacular. But no, there is a bottom um, row, a bottom level as well if you don't wanna be out in the sun. But just a note here, make sure you pack a lot of sunscreen, a hat. They do allow you to take a bag, um, a backpack on so you can pack, you know, change of clothes, towel, all those types of things when you're going over to the island. Also, as we were going over, it was a nice touch. They did have some entertainment on the ferry as well. They had a mariachi singer, which I thought was really appropriate and really set the tone. But again, um, just the ride over is really, truly amazing. And it's really short. I think it was about 20 minutes, if that. We finally arrived to La Isla Mujeres and I have to say I was really surprised at how crowded and busy the island was. The island is only four miles long so I knew that it was small but I was not expecting it to be this busy. From all the research and recommendations everyone agreed that the thing to do is to rent a golf cart when you get to the island. So once you get to the terminal you simply walk across the street and they have several places that you can rent a golf cart. However, the ones that we went to, they were fully rented. They didn't have any golf carts left because the island was so busy. So what we did was we walked a few blocks down and then we were able to find a place and it was only $35 to rent it for two hours. Now you wanna make sure that you have experience driving a golf cart before taking the roads of La Isla Mujeres because it can get a little precarious with the amount of golf carts and cars and buses and people. So thankfully I do have a lot of experience driving golf carts so I took the wheel and I agree that is definitely the way to see this island is on a golf cart. So actually one of my favorite things about coming to the island was that because we had VIP membership status at the Sun Palace, we had access to the Palace Resort here on La Isla Mujeres. So it was perfect because once we got in the cart, we went right to the resort so we could use the bathroom, have some drinks, cool off, have some food before exploring the rest of the island. And even better, it gave me a chance to give you guys a sneak peek at La Isla Mujeres Palace. So let's park our golf cart and take a quick tour of La Isla Mujeres Palace Resort. Right when we arrived, the employees noticed our VIP bracelets from the Sun Palace, the other palace resort, and they were very excited and eager to impress us with their service. First, we used the restroom, however, which is actually just on the outside of the lobby. I wasn't impressed that much with the bathrooms. I thought they would be a little bit more upscale. They were clean, but they were just outdated. So after we used the restroom, we did go inside and of course go to the bar for a drink. And again, everyone was very eager to serve us and excited to see us. And I found out why, because they only have 63 rooms in this resort. So it is a tiny, tiny resort. So right away I knew it's probably not a resort that I'd want to stay at, but again, it was perfect for this outing to have some place to go where you could have a drink and have food and it's all included with your stay at the other resort. As far as the beach goes, there's really not a beach at this resort. It's more like a lagoon. So I was disappointed because I was looking forward to sitting on the beach and swimming in the ocean but this sits on more of a lagoon and it's very shallow. So the water is very hot. So you really can't even cool off in it. And there was um, lots of seaweed. The same goes for the pool. The pool water was very, very hot because that summer sun is just beating down on it. It does sit next to this national park. So they looked like they had water slides and some other things to do, but I really don't see myself staying at a resort like this. It's just too small. But I loved the fact that it was a place that we could go as a stopping point during this excursion, since all the food and the drinks were included.
So now it's time to get back in the golf cart and head to the other side of the island, which is called Playa del Norte. And everyone will tell you this is the most popular side of the island and has the most beautiful beaches. So we decided to save that for last. A few tips. One is you will see a lot of street side vendors as you're driving through. I did stop at one and you can tell that they really do try to take advantage of tours so just keep that in mind in fact you're going to find shops and vendors all over isla mujeres and just know that they are targeted towards tourists and i really didn't see anything there that you couldn't find maybe over in cancun but just keep that in mind when you are shopping there when we finally got over to playa del norte it was so crowded and so busy we just decided not to even go there because it just seemed like it was too much. So one note is that this was in the middle of summer and it is the area where people from Cancun who live there year round come to vacation or take day trips. So that really attributed to the amount of crowds that we experienced that day. Um, there, as you could see, there was a lot of shopping, other things to do. So we decided just to take the golf cart back and go on foot for a little bit and explore the island that way. Again, it was really hot that day, so not an ideal day to be walking around the island, but I did want to get a feel for the vibe and what they had. So we went into a few restaurants and bars, although we didn't get anything because we had just eaten and drank at the Palace Resort, and we did go into a few of the stores, but didn't really see anything different that they didn't have over in Cancun. So at this point, we were actually ready to head back to the resort, our resort, and get on the ferry back to Cancun. So one big tip I wish I knew before going was to know the schedule ahead of time of when the ferries go back. So that way, one, you know when you are leaving, and two, you don't pick a time that everyone is going to pick, which is what we did. We picked the 5.30, 6.30 range, which is when everyone wants to leave the island because they're done with the beach for the day, they wanna go back and have dinner, or they wanna wrap up the day. So just keep that in mind. We did have to wait, I wanna say a good 20 or 30 minutes before getting on the ferry. Um, but then once we did, we got on the ferry and it was a very pleasant ride back. We had the entertainment and everything like we had coming over. Another great tip that people have said is to take the ferry back during sunset. So time it that you're taking that ferry back and you're watching the sunset when you're returning, which I think would be amazing. Okay, so once you get off the ferry, you arrive at the terminal, then the process is the same. You're gonna go back, you're gonna cross the street this time and wait for the bus to take you back to the resort. And again, we picked the time that everybody was going back and waiting for the bus. So just keep that in mind. You might have to wait for one or two buses. And then once you get on the bus, just make sure they know which resort that you are staying at because they will go by it if there's not a lot of people on the bus that are waiting to stop there. But now the question is, should you go to La Isla Mujeres when you're visiting Cancun? And I definitely think it's worth going at least once. I did love the fact that we had access to the resort, the Palace Resort on the island. But if you don't have access, there's tons of things to do. There's tons of restaurants, shopping. So even just to do a day trip, it's absolutely worth it. I'm glad I went as well because I've even considered staying on the island but now I know that that's something that I don't want to do. In November, I'm going back to Mexico and I'm gonna do an excursion from the resort. So I'm excited to see what the difference is and then I'll come back and do a video on either going to La Isla Mujeres on your own or taking the excursion from the resort. So I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please like and subscribe and follow us on Three Days and Trace Noches where we take you on fun, exciting and affordable vacations you can have in a really short amount of time. You don't need a whole week to have an amazing vacation.